Now let's move on to discuss the first major division or section of the respiratory system, the upper respiratory system or tract. We'll discuss the nasal passageways as well as the pharynx. We'll use this image to describe the structures of the upper respiratory system. The nasal cavity, as we mentioned, contains the nasal concave. And the nasal cavity is separated from the mouth through the hard palate and soft palate. At the posterior end of the nasal cavity is the nasal pharynx. Structures of the mouth include the cheek, the body of the tongue, and the root of the tongue. A key bone in this area is the hyoid bone, and it's attached to the larynx. The oral pharynx is at the back of the mouth, and the epiglottis closes the glottis during swallowing to protect the airway. The nasal passages. Air enters the respiratory system primarily through the nasal passageways, and they warm and humidify the incoming air. The flexible tissues of the nasal cavity enclose the nasal vestibule towards the anterior portion of the nose. Inside this structure are hairs that function to trap airborne particles such as sand or sawdust. Olfaction, or the sense of smell, begins in the nasal cavity. Here, air molecules interact with olfactory receptors to activate the olfactory nerve. The soft and hard palate form the roof of the oral cavity and the tongue forms the floor. The hard palate separates the oral and nasal cavities and the soft palate closes off the nasal pharynx during swallowing. A large structure in the upper respiratory system is the pharynx. The pharynx has three major sections the nasal pharynx, the oral pharynx, and the laryngeal pharynx. The pharynx is a tube that connects the nose, mouth, and throat, and it's divided into these three regions. Both the respiratory and the digestive systems share the pharynx, and it extends from the internal nares to the entrances of the trachea for the respiratory system and the esophagus for the digestive system. The most superior portion of the pharynx is the nasal pharynx. This cavity is separated from the oral cavity by the soft palate. Located on the posterior wall of the nasal pharynx is the pharyngeal tonsil and the openings of the auditory tubes. The other two regions of the pharynx are the oral pharynx and the laryngeal pharynx. The oral pharynx extends from the soft palate of the oral cavity and the base of the tongue. In this region at the border between the nasal pharynx and the oral pharynx, the histology of the tissue changes. The epithelium changes from pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium to a stratified squamous epithelium, which is similar to that of the oral cavity. The laryngeal pharynx extends from the hyoid bone to the entrance of the esophagus. This is the most inferior portion of the pharynx and it's lined with stratified squamous epithelium. This epithelium is resistant to damage from mechanical abrasion or chemical damage. Here's a clinical challenge exam question based on what you've learned so far in this tutorial. Which of the following statements about the portion of the respiratory system labeled in the image below is correct? A. The trachea is identified in the image. B. The portion of the respiratory system identified in the image is one of three regions of the pharynx. C. The labeled portion in the image extends from the hyoid bone to the entrance of the esophagus. D. The location of the vocal folds is labeled in the image. Or E. None of the answers is correct. Here's the answer to the question. This question tests your knowledge of the anatomy of the upper respiratory system, specifically the pharynx. The correct answer for this question was B. The portion of the respiratory identified in the image is one of three regions of the pharynx.